This is my um, rustic bird houses I make. And what I start start out with is some, this was regular six foot fencing. Kind of see what it looks like bef before I, so I take the six foot fencing, cut it down on the uh, radio arm saw roughly, and then I bring it over here to my band saw, and then this is what it looks like after I run it through the band saw. Now, I run it through the band saw, which is a little different. Let's see. Okay, so what I do here is I take this board that's still fresh off the, uh, the cut from the fencing that's just weathered and I turn it into a board like this that has some weathering on it but it has some fresh cuts and just rough it up. Here's a, another piece that I've done and the way I do that is the bandsaw is the bandsaw instead of cutting into it, I drag it across, you know, kind of about a 40, 45, 30 degree angle. So I just kind of scrape it. You can go this way, or you can go across this way, and you scrape it clean. And sometimes I do it once and twice. You don't want to keep your hand here at the end, so you want to put the pressure. You want to put the pressure where the blade's at, just light pressure. And if the piece has a bow in it, then you can do it a couple times, flip it over, clean it up. So I'll go ahead and do this, and hopefully when I in post uh, video, I'll uh, mute it because it's pretty noisy and it, it kind of screams really. So that's what you got there. Is uh, some of it, but I want a little more off of it. Because this is the bowed side, it's hidden here and here harder than in the middle. Okay. And on this cup side, it's hidden in the middle more. So you kind of have to lean it into it. And then when you think you got, when you think you've done it enough, no, then that's it. And I always called this resaw because that's what um, the shop I was uh, working at called it when they roughed up wood. Uh, usually it was for exterior use, you know, on something. And, uh, but I've never seen a video on this. And it seems like it does, I don't know if it, it seems like it dulls up the blade pretty good. But I've had this same, it's a half inch blade. And I've had the same blade on here for for quite a while, and I just keep on using it. Um, but I'll, I'm going to go ahead and do another one. So here's this one here I'm going to do. So here we go again.
later later on I'll do this edge here but I'll go ahead and do it now just to show you so you're gonna get a nice little now this is a half inch blade really the wider the blade the better off you are I think this is as big as this um, bandsaw will take is half inch. So that's what this one looks like. You know, a hit and miss. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching this video.